So hello everyone, my name is Simon Rupsak and we are at React Native EU 2023. Uh, it's happening and we, we have very cool guests. Here. Hi everyone, um, I'm Mark, CEO of Margelo and um, I guess I do a lot of open source in React Native. Uh, I built React Native Vision Camera, MMKV, we're working on Wishlist, Big Number Crypto, React Native Graph and some, some other libraries here and there. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a really pleasure. And is it your first time at React Native EU? It is my first time at React Native EU, yes. And I love it. I love the city. It's it's great. It's great to meet everybody. Great um, organization here. It's cool. awesome. It's great to hear this. And I did actually, sorry for interrupting. I did actually speak at React Native EU before, but did, that was a fully remote uh, uh, event. Yeah. Was so it, not on site. What, what was your talk back then? Um, what was it? It was, I think, about Vision Camera and, uh, and like JSI. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Which year was it? Which year? Um, Actually, I don't know. I think 22. Was it last year? I think so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So make sure to watch it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so what have you enjoyed? Because it's like first day and we have a few talks. So I think lots of the talks were great. Um, I enjoyed talking to the uh, meta guys um, or to the other core contributors at the Core Contributor Summit. Um, and yeah, just hanging around uh, with, with everybody. Great. So... If you don't know, I'm I'm really young. I'm 17, but Mark is also really young. How old are you? I'm 23. Yeah. So, and how, how did you manage to also do that at, at that young age and to start programming and doing really great stuff with Vision Camera or the C++ to the modules and host objects and so on and so forth? I should ask you the same question. You're young as well. No, I know that as advanced users, you. And, um, so I I don't know. I think it's just lots of uh, practice working with you know, the different kind of technologies, digging deeper all the time, just uh, trying to figure out how stuff works and looking behind the scenes and, you know, trying to improve stuff here and there. Uh, for example, you know, I used uh, a, a ca another camera library before until we had some, you know, different requirements. We wanted it to be faster. We wanted have to have more features like frame processing and face detection and stuff like that. So we built Vision Camera. Um, and yeah, so I guess it just comes down to, you know, trying to improve, improve all the time, trying to make it faster and not being afraid of, uh, you know, looking behind the scenes, going into native development, Objective-C, Swift, or, or even C++ for that matter. Yeah, that's a great story. And you're making the great stuff, really. Thank you. Appreciate it. It was, it was a feeling of being, you know, so young, being a core contributor, CEO of Margello, a software agency from, from Austria and maintaining of very popular libraries, as you mentioned. And how do you, how do you feel like? Um, I feel good. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, in short, I feel good. It's, it's um, awesome to, to, it's an awesome space to work in, I think. You know, this open source space, this fully remote space, right? You're not, uh, you're not bound to one fixed location. You can work from everywhere. And the community is very, very nice, obviously. Um, it's it can be stressful at times. So you know, open source is obviously a little bit stressful at times. Sometimes people just post issues all the time and, and it request gets, the changes immediately. But it's request changes immediately. Yes. So you know, it's just you you have to prioritize internally. And I'm you know, being maintainer of so many repositories or so many libraries, uh, I just have to be strict for some some repos and just say, okay, you know what, this repo or this issue or this PR or whatever, it's not well written. I just don't want to take a look at it and just filter out the, you know, low quality ones and then focus only on the high quality requests or high quality uh, emails or stuff like that. So it's lots of traffic, but, you know, it's manageable as long as you have your, I guess, your priorities, right? It's all about time, time management. Time management, yes. Time management is key. Right? I need also to do so to manage school, and, but it's all about having everything organized. And So do you work full time at, at Cossack or is it like part time for school? Part time. Mm -hmm. Part time part-time right now but I, I'm thinking of, of, of switching to full-time so I, I can I can make better even better stuff in, in, in this community so mm -hmm. the last thing that I would like to ask you is what are your plans for the future um, my plans for the future I guess I want to keep innovating keep you know building amazing stuff uh, we have the the vision camera v3 launches what was last week uh, we have wishlist in front of us who is uh, which is going to be launched pretty soon actually um, can't wait. We are, huh? Can't wait for it. You can't but... wait. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be exciting. We're going to to work on a new API actually uh, in two weeks, and then hopefully release it after we're done with that. Um, so stay tuned for that. What are my other plans for the future? I don't know. Just just enjoy life. You know, enjoy enjoy life in private as well. Um, 
Yeah, just chill. Great, great stuff. Great stuff. Thank you, Mark, for Thank for you. being here. And maybe you will, you will present this at next year, year edition of React Native EU 2024. Who knows? I'd love to, yeah. And yeah, thanks for listening and bye. Bye. If you liked what you've just heard, check out more of the conference content. Follow us on social media, subscribe to our newsletter and see you at React Native EU 2024.